What's good YouTube lad, you also come here, back again once again, and today today we are back for another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. In the last episode we joined up with Sebastian in his efforts to help his sister. He stumbled upon a mention of a relic within um, Sal Sal Salazar Slytherin's spellbook um, related to one of his students who found a artifact of dark magic. We managed to procure it, much to Ominous' dismay, as well as uh, reveal our use of dark magic to his uncle um, in a battle at Felscroft. We're just going to finish off that that quest by um, meeting up with Seb, and then we're going to go meet up with Seb once more to finish off a main story, to do a start a main story quest and see where that leads us. So if you like what you see here today, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already. Ring the bell to get notified of more content coming your way. Share with your family and your friends. And let's get it. Rebellio. Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feltcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... we just lost our parents, and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the headmaster if we needed his help. I hope so. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. So the quest we need to do next is in the shadow of the mine, which requires Sebastian once more. So let's skedaddle over to him. Yep, wrong map. So he should be by the Overlook, which should be by Upper Hogsfield. It's been a while since we've been in Upper Hogsfield too, and I haven't taken the opportunity to check out the shops oh, lately. My sincerest gratitude, you brave soul. 
Uh, you haven't got anything for me. Thank you for passing through. Long spell. Combination. Oh, baby, what's that? I thought my owl might. Be. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the Catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction. That I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. Okay. Let's do this the stealthy way. Preferably. Let's see how far we can get. Now, I'm pretty sure I covered this area already, where the mine is. Yeah, I have, on the way to the mine. And I think I co covered there the mine too. There they are, up too. ahead. I'll let you lead. Next time I see Pig, well, that's... No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Man looks loyalists are out for blood. see myself doing this sort of thing forever though. Fancy I'll have my own operation worked out one day. People working for me. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Seb, do not talk too quickly about these things. I could easily get caught in this second era because I can't remember. Once again, it. we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. It's a good thing you're not choosing. Perhaps we can find an alternate route up ahead. Sneaking around has its appeal. Ugh. Ugh. Revelio. We're making quick progress. Yeah, because I've decided to leave all these goblins alive. Hopefully it doesn't backfire. I have to go and end up killing them later. Look mine. Mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. Confirm. Any goblins in these webs? Too disgusting. 
spider to prey on. Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Mallow sweet. Can bring up Revelio. Can bring up. That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? Revelio. No, no, this one. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar eyes, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Revelio. Get down there, hopefully, without falling to my death in the process. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Okay, this is cool. These map areas don't always don't always have to be like really big. They're just enough to kind of give you enough space to. Revelio. Incendio. A nice little rest spot. Repair our bridge. See you better days. This is good for Rafa. Pitch. Bridges. I saw something over here. Well, if I can just get up on the ledge, cool. Can't it gallus the cape or scarf's water? Hold on, sorry, don't drown, buddy. Are they glowing like they had Ragnarok's magic on them? Incendium! 
And we're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Ow. Lumos. Lumos. Jesus Christ, I didn't even notice it was Devil's Snare. That could have killed me. Incendium. Lumos. Lumos. This stuff just grows in strange places. Okay, that's another one for me to use. Lumos. He didn't do too much damage, which is fine, I guess. I'm just silly for not noticing it. seen a single rune symbol I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment an unwelcome distraction at that I do like how they've written most of the dialogue we have another fight on our hands why am I not surprised Revelio Oh, dang. Wow. I don't know how many times it's actually been, how many times I've actually died. I died for a silly reason. I was not paying attention. I don't need to change my equipment. My equipment is fine. Bombarda. Bombarda. Bombarder. You 
Okay. You certainly cleared the room. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. For a raven sword, you certainly have a lot to learn. Wow. Soon with the academics. Revelio. A hard sell there, Sebi. That's a hard sell, you know. Confringo. Now. Oh, we can have a look around in here. Revelio. Protego. Incendio. Rebellion. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Confringo! Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Didn't know I needed that box. I'm not climbing this wall without it. No, I did need that box to climb up there. Needs me being a silly goose. Silly, silly goose lance. Okay. So I don't plan on falling into another room. Hmm. Revelio. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still. Something about this place feels odd. Protego! Let's have a look at that canvas piece. Oh, okay, I can't look at that canvas piece. The world floated back to me as if in a watery haze. How long have I been unconscious? I really remember his eyes, empty, empty of sorrow, yes, but also... I recall feel a sense of euphoria as I watched the pain vanish, but when everything started to turn, when I fell, I must have hit my head. I neither feel nor see a mark, but the pain is throbbing. I can only hope that it's not the, the black death. At least he's no longer in pain. 
Revelio. A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Cryptic led us here to find this bit of canvas. We can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Revelio. Look at your split. And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. He has to be rude though, bro. Cool, go off and mope to yourself. Silly bugger. Let's go check in with Poppy about this poached egg before we end the episode so we can figure out where we're going with her in the next episode to Hogsmeade I have re-engaged with this game in, in a good way after a short break and watching my sister play it too that's really helped me get back into it it's not like her to forget I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Graham told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Enjoy, well you certainly know what you're doing. 
I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Isn't necessarily a good thing for us. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. Just thought I'd ask. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Well, okay. We're going to leave that for the next episode. We want to try and keep this episode short and kind of keep chugging along as we have. So if you like what you saw here today, please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not already. Ring the bell to get notified of more content coming your way. Share with your family and your friends. And I've been your boy, Lion, the awesome form, and I'll catch you cats later.